So 3D view, uh, the, the model is created for visualization purposes is uh, what we call also Hollywood BIM or, or spin BIM, uh, a nice picture that you can spin around on the screen and, uh, and, and present the, uh, the design with. Now there is a difference uh, between that and a model that you create for construction management purposes. Uh, that model you create to extract the quantities, quantities per location and uh, use that to drive the cost plan and the schedule plan and then later the production control and that is not a 3D view but we like to call that a three-way view. Uh, so an example of both, spin BIM, a, a nice uh, 3D model built in uh, a, a modeling tool such as Revit or Archicad or, or Tecla uh, brought together inside a viewer environment and can be explored by using the, uh, the navigation options uh, versus the construction management tool. You can see in the bottom of the screen how quantities from the model have been used to calculate the cost of the project and then in the bottom right the topic of today's webinar uh, use that information to uh, generate uh, cost reports, schedule reports and constructability reports directly from the data set that you created. So just for those who, um, who have not, uh, who are new to the Vico Office platform, a, a quick overview of the integrated process. Uh, what you do when you work with Vico Office is you publish your uh, building information models uh, from your authoring platform of choice uh, into the Vico Office database. And when you do that, or after you've done that, you activate the model. And what we do at that point is we create groups of similar elements. Uh, so in this example, uh, we put all columns of type 1 in one, uh, one group. Uh, we call those groups takeoff items. And uh, for all of those takeoff items that we create, so all similar elements, groups of similar elements, uh, we calculate the quantities inside Vico Office by uh, analyzing the geometry. So we run calculation rules during the activation of the model. And those quantities, TOQs or takeoff quantities, can then be used to calculate the cost. Uh, the amounts of work, uh, so that's one level deeper, uh, the, uh, the quantities, of the amounts of labor, quantities of materials and, uh, and required equipment. Now the beauty of building information models is that each of the elements that contribute to the quantities have a location, so they have a, an X, Y and Z coordinate and uh, we use that information uh, to uh, define a LBS, a location breakdown structure. Uh, using that, we know how many columns there are in Zone 1, how many there are in Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, etc. Uh, the locations can be defined as granular as possible, uh, depending on what you want to achieve from a scheduling point of view. Now that integrated information, so the quantities per location with their cost, can then be fed into a schedule, and the schedule can also be used to uh, print a, uh, a cash flow curve like you can see here. So all of that is integrated and derived directly from the 5D data set. So the Vico Office report designer, important thing to note there is that it sits directly on top of the Vico Office database. Uh, so uh, when you want to generate a report with Vico Office, uh, you plot the information that you currently have stored in for your project in the database. We use templates uh, to make that uh, a very efficient process. So after you've uh, designed the, uh, the template or the, or the report that you would like to report cost with or constructability issues, um, you store that in, the, um, in, the, in the, the, the Vico project server in the database and it can be reused uh, for all of your projects. Uh, so you define it once, share it with the team, and, uh, and reuse it for the next projects. The, uh, the functions that we will be using today include uh, conditional formatting, uh, so everything that is on a certain level of your cost plan uh, can be formatted uh, so that it is recognizable. In the example here, we see everything that is on uniform at level one is in uh, Arial and then uh, point 16 and, uh, and, and in bold. 
uh, filtering, so maybe you only want to see the resources in your cosplay, or only want to see uh, the uh, the material resources. Uh, sorting, I think, speaks for itself. And then images and graphs. The uh, the report designer has uh, a, a, a huge collection of uh, of, of graphic uh, designs, uh, so uh, visual representation of your data and the report templates is possible. 